Hello everyone, welcome to Nira Techies. In this video, I am going to explain model routing in Angular application. This is the continuation of our last video. In my last video, I am explained the basics of routing and also child routing. So for explaining this functionality, I use the only one app routing model.ts file. So whenever we are generating the application, so this is the default generated file. If you have any small application, this is fine. It's not an issue. So whatever routes we have, we can include in the app routing dot model dot ts. But in the real time scenarios, we may have n number of models. So in that situation, we have to create the separate routing model file for each model. So let me explain how we can do this model routing. Before that, I am going to create one new model. So my new model name is admin. So ng generate and model so our model name is as i mentioned admin if you want to generate the routing file also means you have to provide like this double minus and you have to put the routing then it will generate the routing file also okay fine look like our routing files are gets generated with the new model and inside the app folder if you see the admin new folder is generated so it contains two files one is for our routing file and another one is for admin model okay for explaining this functionality i am going to create two components for this admin model the first one ng generate component so i am going to create this for admin model so i am going to create the folder and my component name is list so one component is generated now i am going to create my second component and this component name is login okay now we have created two components so now let me come to my admin routing model.ts file so adding the routing concept is same for everywhere so basically route storing the values in array format so we can add the objects so first i am going to give the path path is list and the component release and the component is list component okay one so now we can add our next object next one is actually login and our component name is login component okay now we have done and let me go to my app component so here already have some setup codes then i'm going to include our h3 tag so admin menu the bottom i am going to have the list inside that la and hanger tag so name is list and instead of href i am going to use the router link and the path name is list the same way i am going to add for the login also So we have done our changes now we can verify our output okay see this is our output so if i'm clicking this list there is nothing changed even if i'm clicking the login also there is no change if i'm checked in the console it's saying the error because it's saying the segment or list the path is not found why because we have included our routes are in our admin routing model dot ts but it's not generated in the app model so if you are created any new model first we need to register in our app model so let me register it first so import from slash it's in the admin folder inside the admin not an admin model so inside the admin we have the admin routing model 
so let me include here it's also so admin routing model at the end you have to provide in the import side also okay now see as of now there is no error so if I'm clicking the list it's saying list works fine then if I'm clicking the login the login works fine that means our routing is working fine so now I created this model routing for the admin model in the real-time scenarios we may have uh, n number of models so we have to create the separate routing files and we have to register in our app model so in order to we can use so now we have completed the model routing next I am going to explain group routing so first let me explain the scenario so we have our admin model the similar way I am going to create one new model is called your customer model so but the customer model also having the same menus like list and login so just to consider this situation so how then how will you differentiate uh, whether the URL from admin or else customer so in that scenarios we have to use this uh, group routing so let me explain with an one example so now I am going to create one more model user so syntax is same ng generate and model or model name is user and routing so initially I missed to add the M that's what the error is coming okay fine model is created so let me create the component also ng generate component now we are creating this component for user model okay great first component is created let me go to my next component user and this one also login okay fine now I am going to do the same changes what actually we done for the our admin routing file so let me add the routing in our user model also first one is path uh, in the path is list and the component component is list component okay the same way I am going to add for login okay we have done our changes and let me register in our app model user inside the user user routing model okay that's it and let me include the class and we have to include in our import side so that's all about the changes now let me come to our app component so the same way after the admin menu I am going to have user but see so both are different models but in our links are common okay both routing file also we have registered in our app model so then which one basically it will take that is the confusion here go to the component here I am going to add some changes so h4 tag admin list actually this change is for identifying and the next one is login admin login and the next model is user 
I previously said customer, then I changed the name is user. Anyway, it's fine. So user list and another one is user login. Okay, now we can see our output. So if you see two set of menus are loaded and admin login okay there are two set of uh, menus are loaded if I am clicking the login menu it's saying admin login even if I'm clicking the list again it's also saying the admin list that means always the admin menus are coming because this one actually be added initially even I am clicking the user menu also it's not coming so in that cases we supposed to use the group routing so group routing is nothing but our child concept uh, in the child routing I explained the same way but some small difference only let me include the changes first I am going to the admin routing so in the admin routing I am going to add one path and the path name is admin and the children so inside the children I am going to have this one so now I moved admin model changes so let me come here and if now I am clicking this login it's saying user login if I'm clicking list it's a user list even admin side also if I'm clicking same why because uh, now we have only one registered path that's what it's showing like this so but this is not the correct way we have to change the same changes for our user also so let me include here also the path and our path is user and our children okay done now see nothing is loaded even if I am clicking the same error only it will show because we have registered our uh, both the models uh, within some grouping if you go within the user model so list was there so it, this list actually grouped in the uh, user model so the correct URL should be if you give user slash list so it will work user list and if you are giving hardman slash list so it will work so based on the model we have grouped the routings that's it so we need to change in our links also first let me give like this admin slash admin slash and here this is for user this is for user okay done now let me refresh my screen so if I am clicking admin list it's coming if I'm clicking login admin login so if I'm clicking user menu user menu list yeah I see user list if I'm clicking login so user login so in that way we have to group our routing so now we have done the model routing and also group routing still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in my comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in our next video uh, we can discuss about pipes in angular application thank you thanks for watching